great interest on using functional magnetic resonance imaging connectivity markers to relate them to measures of psychopathology. And this interest reflects the fact that these brain imaging measures are relatively easy to collect. Norman and colleagues use this measure to examine relations with ADHD. And they present findings in a particularly large sample with many thousands of individuals and examine connectivity in the striatum, a region that has been long linked to symptoms of ADHD. These new findings resemble prior research in that they link the striatum to symptoms of ADHD, but they do so in a considerably larger sample. As brain imaging research matures, it provides the opportunity to conduct important quantitative reviews. And Timon and colleagues present a quantitative meta-analysis on brain function in ADHD and autism spectrum disorders. This new review uses task-based fMRI, which is a relatively difficult measure to acquire. And they assemble a relatively large sample size across the many studies that they review. And they show that there are both similarities and differences in the neural correlates of ASD and ADHD. However, the important new findings suggest that there are as many or perhaps even more differences between these two neurodevelopmental syndromes as there are similarities. And this should generate more interest in trying to discover new treatments that might selectively benefit one or the other of these often comorbid conditions. Thank you.